all that GTA info, right? They're giving him life in a in a in a mental hospital or some shit. I don't even know what that's called or like how they get that like done. It says GTA Six hacker handed indefinite hospital order. What they how they came to this conclusion that he needs to be like mentally looked after like this whole time like what did he do 18 year old arian cartage was a key member of the notorious cybercrime gang you could be an online gang i think what he meant with the wolverine he means deadpool 3 it might be delayed okay we're gonna get to that but online gang a cyber gang apparently he's autistic what the fuck does that mean what does that have to do with this Online gang is crazy. Cybercrime is a thing. I know cybercrime is a thing. I'm saying online gang sounds insane to me. Group of leakers calling themselves a gang is just insane to me. Um, Lapsus, I guess, is the name of the international gang. Let's let's calm down. Oh, let's not put no disrespect. Hey, I'm relaxing. Okay, we not disrespecting over here. All love and respect. I like. If you a scammer and shit, like, I, 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 I respect the hustle. I don't know what you're actually doing, but I respect it. The gang's attack on tech giants, including Uber, NVIDIA, and Rockstar Games cost the firms nearly $10 million. Oh, well, W. They making it seem like they stealing from regular, ordinary citizens. W. That's cool with me. I, I got no problems. I'm cooling. I'm relaxing. Especially if you take it from, from Uber. The shit that I hear from Uber drivers about them getting paid pennies based on what the actual company takes from the drivers, fuck them niggas. Give a fuck. Calling these niggas a gang. Anyway, um, the judge said uh, Cartage's skills and desire to commit cybercrime meant he remained a high risk to the public. Okay, so what is he doing now? What is he doing now? Let me see. Let me really get into it because I think it's a little bit more than probably just getting in the Uber. But let me see. He was hacking while he was on probation then said he was going to hack when he gets out. So he going to be sent to a mental hospital to get rehabilitized. Why did I say it like that? Rehabilitated. What the fuck did I just say? Anyway, don't pay attention to that. Relax. Relax. Calm down. <laughs> that is, look, it's. There's a lot that happens in rapid succession, so you don't have to focus or hone in on, like, the little shit, bro. Just vibe. He will remain at a secure hospital for life unless doctors deem him no longer a danger. This just sounds like the big companies trying to force him into uh, a situation because I'm already, like, like you know, um, conspiracy theorists see in the building. I don't see what he did to regular people to why he can't be let out. The court heard that he'd been violent while in custody with dozens of reports of injury or property damage. Violent to who? Doctors deemed him unfit to stand trial due to his acute autism. So the jury was asked to determine whether or not he committed the alleged acts. Not if he did so with criminal intent. Whether he committed them. What? What is acute autism? Well, I guess I could look it up, but I was hoping that somebody would just immediately inform me, but I'm going to just search it then. Let me just see. What the fuck is it? It's like mild autism for people with low support needs. So it's like, is it not high functioning, but it's like a step below high functioning? Is that what you're trying to say? What the fuck are you talking about? Acute autistic. All right, bro. You just you just dumb, bro. Whatever, bro. A mental health assessment used as part of the sentencing hearing said he continued to express the intent bro to return to cybercrime as soon as possible. Like he is he, he is highly motivated. <laughs> this just sounds funny. Come on, what you didn't do nothing wrong? Who did he hurt? Who did he hurt? Who did he hurt? Mental health assessment. Blah blah blah. The jury was told that while he was on bail for hacking Nvidia. And in police protection at a Travelage he hotel, he continued hacking. Hackers leaking things, but I disagree with a mental health evaluation unless he was diagnosed prior to leaking. Yeah, I don't get how this is necessary. Um, it just seems like people are being able to like maybe manipulate the situation based off of his risk to broader, more larger conglomerates, 
Uh, and it doesn't really seem like he's a threat to the general public to a point where he need to be put in a mental facility for life um, based on the fact that he said, I'm going to do it again. Um, they're making it seem like he's committing mass murder or something like that. And I get the risk that he poses, but what did he do to anybody else? I'm just trying to I'm trying to figure that out. Um, he continued hacking and carried out his most infamous hack despite having his laptop confiscated. <laughs> He managed to breach a rock. How did you breach it? The company behind GTA using an Amazon they Fire lied, Stick. They said he wasn't fit for court. What the fuck? How do you hack? <laughs> How did you get into that? This nigga's a genius. You hacked Rockstar with a Fire Stick, your hotel TV, and a mobile phone with no laptop. This nigga's not a gang member. He's not a gang member. He's a mogul. He's a genius. He's a legend. He stole 90 clips of the unreleased and hugely anticipated Grand Theft Auto 6. You know what? Some of that shit was probably given to him. I'm not going to lie, bro. A little bit was given. He broke into the company's internal Slack messaging system to declare, if Rockstar does not contact me on Telegram within 24 hours, I will start releasing the source code. He then posted the clips and source code on a forum under the username Teapot Uber Hacker. <laughs> oh, no, nah, this might be, this might be fantastic. He was rearrested and detained until his trial. Teapot Uber Hacker? Earlier this month, the trailer for GTA 6 was released, clocking up 128 million views on YouTube in just four days. In sentencing hearings, his defense team argued that the, uh, the success of the game's trailer indicated that Cartage's hack had not caused serious harm to the game developer and asked this to be factored into the sentencing. Why they think that people weren't going to watch the GTA trailer based off of a couple of images and videos leaking what was early game development uh, when, you, when it comes to footage, I don't know. Why would they think that? But let her honor, wait, but her honor judge Lees said uh, that there were real victims and real harm caused from the other multiple hacks on individuals in the companies he attacked with. Um, Rockstar Games alone told the court that the hack cost it $5 million to recover from, plus thousands of hours of staff time. I feel like they're making shit up, I'm going to be honest. Right, the leaks would only add more, you know what I'm saying, eyes to the trailer. Like, in the in the leaks from what I saw were really good. Even though they were in early development, I thought that the that the natural like haze, especially that they had over the like environment while you were moving as the main character, even though you can't really see that much, I'm like, Oh, we in good hands. This look good. Um, I just didn't think it was that big of a deal to be I mean, obviously I know it's a huge deal. I'm not pretending like this not, you know, a big security breach, but still um we have your user data we have uh ee's bt and orange source code if they pay us four million in u.s dollars before the 20th of august we will delete everything from our servers okay so you blackmailing you blackmailing you know and um yeah you can't go to jail but i would just like why are they acting like it's like a mental issue this dude knows what he's doing he's deep in you know what i'm saying he want to get his ones I mean, I don't see what they need to rehabilitate. Um, Rockstar's games alone told the court that the hack cost the AF. So we read that. Another member who was 17 and cannot be named because of his age was found guilty in the same trial. He worked with Curtaj and other members uh, defo demanding a $4 million ransom, which was not paid. 17-year-old was sentenced to 18-month-long youth rehabilitation order, including intense supervision and a ban on using VPNs online. Okay, bro. That's fine. During their spree, the hackers regularly celebrated their crimes publicly and taunted victims on social uh, social media, uh, Telegram in English and in Portuguese. It prompted U.S. cybersecurity to issue a lengthy report and other While teen leaks hacker build games. Pipe and market your game. Did GTA 6 really need a leak for marketing? The Probably not. GTA 6 itself is huge marketing in itself, Lamau. Of course. Like, obviously, they didn't, they didn't need it. And I doubt that the hype that was, you know, um, built up based on the leaks was like that big of a, you know, incentive for more people to go check out the trailer. But acting like it was a huge derail or people aren't going to watch the trailer just because they saw that video leak on Twitter or on YouTube. It's just like, bro, it's not like that at all, bro. Guaranteed um it's not clear how much money they made from the cyber crimes no companies publicly admitted paying the hackers and the hackers did not provide the passwords to seize cryptocurrency wallets whoa okay now this is crazy 
They didn't provide the passwords to seized cryptocurrency wallets. Who'd you steal? Wait, what? Which crypto did you steal? I know Sean Happy didn't watch the leaked GTA clips. Oh, oh, fuck no! I'm, I'm, I, I already knew what type of time that was about to be on. Doge is funny. They standing on business. Hey man, they not snitching. I don't know who they stole from exactly though. Um, so we gonna have to. That that's that's uh, yet to be seen. If they stole from like regular individuals not even saying it like it's good if they stole from like the huge ones but like i'm not gonna sit up here and act like this is the most heinous crime ever that's deserving of permanent mental reevaluation in a facility bro put the little nigga in some prison or something like that or get something going and, and let and let it go i feel like because he gonna do it again he gonna pre he, could, he could easily pretend and act like he's rehabilitated bro i'm gonna get access if i want to but w uh w kid you know w dumbass he's doing he's doing his uh he's doing a good job i don't know how you hack a, a company like rockstar with a fire stick a hotel tv and a cell phone i just i just can't see it you got you got deep in your bag bro free little bro free little bro